Good evening. It's Tuesday, April 30, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. A police officer was shot dead by two motorcycle riding gunmen in Toledo City earlier this morning. The gunmen were caught on CCTV camera trailing the victim right before the incident occurred. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. An officer of the Drug Enforcement Unit of Cebu Provincial Police Office was shot dead by two motorcycle riding gunmen earlier this morning in Toledo City. The victim was identified as Police Master Sergeant Junard Cinco, who sustained gunshot wounds in his head. The incident took place in Barangay Media Once in Toledo City. Initial investigation revealed that Cinco came from his house in Barangay Lutupan and upon reaching Barangay Media Once, the gunmen suddenly shot him. A CCTV footage showed the motorcycle riding gunman followed Cinco, who was also on board a motorcycle with his wife. Police Regional Office Central Visayas Director Debold Sinas believes the perpetrators are members of the group of suspected drug lord Steve Go, who was killed inside the Mandawi City Jail last year. Sinas have already dispatched a tracker team to Toledo City to capture the killers of Cinco. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Barong PDP Laban and Bando Osmeña Pundo Kauswagan Bets attended the two separate candidates forums spearheaded by Mega Cebu at the University of San Carlos yesterday. Barong PDP Laban Bets Cebu City Vice Mayor Edgardo Labella and former Mayor Mike Rama were present during the morning forum while Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña and Councillor Mary Ann de los Santos were present at the afternoon forum. Labella said that if he became mayor, he would see to it that the Cebu City Medical Center would be fully functional and contain an exclusive ward for senior citizens. He also said he would create a committee to study and recommend a permanent solution to the water problem. Rama, for his part, said he would push for mass transit, high-tech innovations, general welfare and empowerment of barangays. Meanwhile, Osmeña said he would use political will to solve the water problem in the city and ban profit-oriented companies from entering into business with the Metropolitan Cebu Water District. The mayor added that he would continue to push for the implementation of the bus rapid transit system. De Los Santos said she would focus on legislative matters, but she also manifested her willingness to accept any assignment from Osmeña. Join knowledge-loving Cebuanos this weekend for the city's observance of its own Jane's Walk this May 3 and 4. Jane's Walk is an annual festival of free citizen-led walking conversations inspired by Jane Jacobs. Jacobs was an American urbanist and activist whose writings championed a fresh community-based approach to city building. Visit rich heritage sites in Cebu, like museums or old cinemas. Take a food trip in two of Cebu's iconic gastronomic stops. All these and more await those who join this weekend's Jane's Walk. The event is free of charge. Just contact Cebu Literary Festival on Facebook or email cebuliteraryfestival at gmail.com or contact 0917-815-5794 for more information. Here's the latest sports news from Nico Tubo. Nikola Jokic carried the Denver Nuggets with a 37-point performance to snatch a 121-113 win over the Portland Trail Blazers in the first game of their second-round series Tuesday. Jokic continued his brilliant playoff performance by dominating once again. He made 11 of 18 shots and all 12 of his free throws together with 9 rebounds and 6 assists. Jamal Murray added 23 points and 8 rebounds, while Paul Millsap chipped in 19 points. Meanwhile, Damian Lillard led the Blazers with his 39 points, 6 assists and 3 rebounds, but he had 6 turnovers and missed 8 out of 12 3-point attempts. 
The Nuggets came off a 90-86 win over the San Antonio Spurs. It was their first Game 7 victory since 1978 against the Milwaukee Bucks. Game 2 will be played this Thursday at the Pepsi Center in Denver. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Here's the latest in entertainment with Chave Coronel. Judy Ann Santos and Ryan Agoncillo marked their 10th wedding anniversary last Sunday. And to celebrate their special day, the lovely couple exchanged sweet words on social media. Ryan uploaded a photo of him and Judy Ann on Instagram as one of Ryan's ways of expressing his love for his wife. Judy Ann also uploaded another photo of them on Instagram and expressed her love for Ryan. Several celebrities like Isa Calzado, Vina Morales, and Pia Guanyo greeted the couple on their special day. Judy Ann and Ryan held a small gathering with a private mass and dinner at their home in Alabang. The two got married on April 28, 2009 in San Juan, Batangas. Charlie Coronel, News Beats Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Sherry Ann Lim. Good evening.